Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Franklin here and today we got ourselves a brand new updated guide on how to use PK Hex for Scarlet and Violet, more specifically the Indigo Disc DLC. Before we get it right into it, please like and subscribe. That is the best way to support my channel. You guys have been killing it lately. But I will say this as a disclaimer, do not ask me how you can get your save file into PK Hex because if I do that, if I try to show you or tell you how to do it, um the Nintendo ninjas and the YouTube gods will strike me down. It happened once, almost happened twice, and I don't want to deal with that kind of headache ever again. It doesn't really cause for any reason to strike, but they do copyright claim my stuff, so I can't. i just going to put that in the description. I'm going to say it right now, so, you know, can't say it and warn you, so don't bother me. So, let's get right into it. So, there are a couple things that were introduced in the DLC, particularly... New Pokemon, which everybody wants, and features that came along with the Blueberry Academy. So let's go over the simple stuff. So if you go into your save file and then you go into, let's say, trainer information. Remember all those barbecue quests and you were like, man, I'm tired of grinding for literally everything I can possibly imagine. Yeah, you know, what? I got 180 BP for barbecues. Man, fuck all that. I'm gonna put nine 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 nine. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a genius. <laughs> but that's pretty much the way you can do it. This tells you like how many solo quests you've done and group quests. Obviously, I haven't done any group quests because you know, <laughs> sad boy life. But you know, if you want to bypass all that and upgrade, you know, the Blueberry Academy um, features and cool stuff, I do recommend like doing this if you want to max out your pretty much experience for the Blueberry Academy with the Terranium, like whether it's new Pokemon, um, updated like NPC uses and, you know, coaches and all that stuff. So if you want to do that, that's the best way to do it. Other than that, um, I don't really see anything else here that would be justified to talk about more. So BP is right there. Um, obviously items, there's more of items and all that TMs. If you want to do all that, I mean, it's pretty obvious. You want to go to TMs, you just click here and there's more TMs. Just make sure you like change them. If you guys going off of what we see in previous PK Hex guides, you guys know how to do this. There's no biggie there. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the major things, and that's, of course, new Pokemon. So what's up with the new Pokemon? So there are version-exclusive Pokemon for the Paradox Pokemon. One of them is Raging Bolt. Another one is Gouging Fire. Those two are Scarlet exclusives. And for Violet in this instance, the file that I'm using, as you can see the VL right there, I have Iron Boulder and Iron Crown. Now, unfortunately, these bums at Game Freak decided to only give us one copy of each Pokemon, which sucks. It's even worse if you only have one copy of Scarlet and Violet. That's going to be a whole nother issue. But let's say... Iron Crown, Iron Boulder, you know, you want those Pokemon. All you got to do is just go to the encounter database. Then this large, large list pops up. And then you just put the word Iron Boulder. Search. Voila. It's already there. If you want multiple copies, that is the best way to do it. So, again, I'm going to show you right there. Right-click view. Put Iron Boulder. And, yep, copy and paste, copy and paste. And it's legal because you can find the game. I'm going to do the same thing for Iron Crown. So we're going to Encounter Database. Type in the word Iron. If you want to be more specific, go to Crown. Search. Voila. Perfect. Same process. I'm going to give myself two copies. Then, of course, you know, you can change the Pokeball if you want to be that kind of person. Do not click on the red because then it's definitely going to be illegal. And then what you want to do is just put, like, the, the Beast Ball whatever so now you're thinking hey if you can do this you can definitely do this for uh gouging fire and raging bolt so let's do that let's put a uh, gouging fire first let's search we're gonna right click as usual and then exit out but see now something happens though because it has your trainer information it has the encryption constant What's going to happen is that PK Hex is sensing, hey, you're doing something illegal. If I try to put this in the boxes, it works. Now, 
there was an instance, and I think this might have gone updated overnight because I don't recall this being an issue, or I do recall this being an issue last night saying, hey, this Pokemon cannot be found in your game because you own a copy of Violet, and obviously you cannot have a, a Gouging Fire because it doesn't exist in Pokemon Violet. So I'm going to do it one more time just to ensure this was a problem um, that I had last time when I tried doing this yesterday once the update rolled out. So I'm going to do it again, and I'm just going to do it for Raging Bolt. If it's not a problem again, you know, we're learning something new every day. But I'm going to go to Raging Bolt, and it, it's again, it's working pretty good. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is, I think PK Hex and the developers are starting to realize that cheating and all that genning stuff is becoming a bigger issue on larger platforms like VGC and other official tournaments. So there was a disclaimer with these Pokemon saying, hey, you cannot find these Pokemon in your copies of Violet because obviously they're only intent for Scarlet. I think they must have removed something from these Pokemon. Because this must have gone updated. If I'm looking at this right now, I mean, it was updated as of a day ago. So, potentially, they might have fixed that little tiny little buggy right there. But, other than that, now it's not a problem. So, I say, hey, that's not really a problem for me. But, yeah, there's the four, you know, Paradox Pokemon. Now, if you want the Legendary Pokemon that come exclusively, you got to remember one thing, though. Got to remember. Let's, do, let's choose Rayquaza, for example. I think Rayquaza's already in the game, right? Yeah, Rayquaza. Great Crater. Okay, let's just use uh, Rayquaza, for example. If you move Rayquaza, put it into your game, it's cool, right? You want a shiny Rayquaza? Well, you cannot do that because, you got to remember, they shiny locked the game. For all these legendaries, which is so stupid. I don't know why they did that. And that's going to be a whole nother topic as to why I'm kind of disappointed with the DLC. But uh, alert box is going to pop out and say unable to match an encounter from Origin Games. Static encounter, shiny mismatch. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So now, you know, just as long as you use the Rayquaza that you got from the encounter database. The encounter database is like usually 100% accurate unless there's a specific problem with it which I have not encountered yet. Maybe with Mystery Gift Pokemon, perhaps, because, again, you're not getting them naturally into your game. Other than that, you know, I don't see a problem. I think the issue that I'm starting to realize now is that, let's say, if you have Raging Bolt, and for some reason they'll have 20 IVs. That's kind of interesting, looking at all these Pokemon. Let's say I do 31 IV. This is, the, this is one of the alerts you're going to get. So do not mess with the IVs. If you want, uh, you know, a battle-ready Pokemon, just use a bottle cap in game. Just you can literally inject yourself bottle caps, vitamins, and all that stuff. Then go into your game, pump them up to level 100. Like right here, you can pump them up to level 100, right? Or let's just, let's get rid of this error. So you can pump this up to level 100, you know. And then what I would do is like give it like max IVs on whatever stuff you want to do. And uh, let's give this 10. Oh, no, not 10. 8. Because you got, whoa, 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 6. Oh, my God, freaking, you're losing it already. And then go into your game once this, is, once this is injected into your game. And then just bottle cap it. It's not that difficult. Don't try to mess with the natural IVs. Because if you do that, the game's going to say, hey, this is illegal. Unable to match an encounter from the Origin game, a.k.a. These are the wrong IVs. And even if you still mess with it, it still says legal. So don't just don't mess with it. Just put it back in the game. Uh, starter Pokemon, same thing. Usually what I would do with starter Pokemon, if you have a living Dex in Pokemon Home, just transfer them. And if you want to tweak with them, you know, just put it here and then call it a day. You don't have to do an encounter database. You don't have to. If you don't have the Pokemon, for sure you can do the encounter database. But I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have Pokemon Home and previous generations of Pokemon games, just transfer them. And then when you transfer them, use PK Hex to modify them, whatever you want. You know, avoid yourself another Urshifu VGC incident or Pokemon World problem. You know, we all know what the problems are with those. Um, other than that, that's pretty much like the two biggest thing. 
Oh, there are some instances where Pokemon that are already in Scarlet and Violet, they get a moveset upgrade. Uh, some of you might not know this. Um, we're going to choose a Pokemon here that got one of its moves upgraded, if I can find them. Uh, where are there is that Pokemon? Um, for some reason, I cannot find it. Am I losing my mind here? Okay, but anyways, you know what? Let's do Encounter Database. <laughs> uh, we're going to pull up the Encounter Database. I cannot find this Pokemon. I could have sworn I have this. It's going to be Iron Jugulus. We're going to search it. Yep, you can find it in Scarlet and Violet, particularly in Violet. Uh, we're going to put over here. Now, one of the moves that it ended up getting brand new is Meteor Beam. So we put Meteor Beam here. Well, it's going to have an error. What's that error? Pretty much means you're going to have to do a relearn flag check. So what you're going to do here is you're going to scroll all the way until you find Meteor Beam. Pretty much it's one of the new ones. And it's right here highlighted. And what's really cool about this is that this will tell you, like, the green boxes will tell you, hey, this is what moves um, it can learn. And then the highlighted, I believe, means this is what you're trying to find to replace. So we're going to check that. We're going to click Save. Voila, meter beam, max it out at three if you want. And there you have it. Legal. Yep. Cool. So what's the moral of the story? Use Encounter Database. Use that and then tweak the Pokemon with like vitamins and bottle caps when you load up your game once you're completed. That way you can just avoid any potential flags going off. So check that. Legal. Check that. Legal. Cool. Check that. Legal. Cool. And then you go to some Pokemon. Like these Pokemon here were transferred from Legends Arceus. Bastiodon. Check that. Legal. And then you just tweak with it. You want to change the stats. Hey, that's fine. Let's put 31. Still legal. And there's that. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Now, as for key items, there are some brand new key items. I highly recommend... If you want to get these key items so badly, I highly recommend completing the game with key items because the problem with that is certain events are locked behind key items or vice versa. Or vice versa, I should say. Um, some key items are locked behind events. Like if you complete the Pokedex, you get something extra. If you do a specific task, you can get more cool stuff. Um, I highly recommend just getting them naturally. Um, but honestly, if you beat the story of the Indigo Disc and you complete the Pokedex, whether it's via home transfers or a simple PK Hex kind of stuff, should be pretty quick. Literally, if you want to 100% the DLC, it'll take you probably no less than... No, actually, no, it'll take you less than three hours. I think for me personally, my adventure here took two and a half hours, but... Yeah, that, that's pretty much it. There's not much to do in this game besides catching Pokemon, legendary Pokemon that you can keep as Scarlet and Violet. Unique stuff that might be useful for tournaments, especially in VGC where transfers become a little bit of an issue. But other than that, that's all there is. Uh, let me know what you guys think. You guys have any questions, uh, let me know. I'll try to do my best to answer such questions, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.